In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can make Ajax request and populate the partial views over here asynchronously. So here you can see that I've got a text box and a button. When I'll be entering something over here as search and clicking on this, it will search that stuff and it will populate the result over here. Now to do that, we will be making use of jQuery and we'll be creating some partial views as well. So let's go ahead in our code to take a look at it now. So here, this is the page that I'm talking about, trainings. And, uh, and you can see that I've got this text box with the ID txt search and then this button with ID btn search. Now in my script block, I'm using the click event. So whenever somebody is clicking on this button, I'm taking the value that is entered in the search text box in this variable. And then I've got two placeholders trainings and external trainings. These are the two divs that I've got. And here you can see that I'm making use of load method, which is actually loading these two views. Home get view. And here you can see I've provided the view name as training. And then over here, the view name is ex training. Now these two views I've defined inside my shared directory. So here you can see training external partial and training partial. So this is how the component, the partial view is looking. And this could be any page that you have got at your end. But I am demonstrating what trainings will be coming over here and will be demonstrating it. So one view is just showing the admin related trainings and the other one is just showing the external trainer related trainings and here you can see the partial being used again training card which we have explored in the previous lecture so these two partial views have been created and they are being used actually over here in view name now when i'll be taking you to the get view action in my controller so here you can see that the get view action is there which is having the search and view name whenever the view name is sent here you can see i'm assigning the actual file name that's training partial and training external partial to the view name and then i'm loading that using this function return partial view view name and then the model now the model is actually returned via link queue and here we get the result back to our partial view if i open up the file training partial here you can see that I'm making use of the I enumerable and then the object so whatever list is being returned is actually of this type and then I'm simply looping through it using the partial training card so that way we can easily call or load our partial views asynchronously in ASP.NET MVC